Okay, so now I'm gonna talk serious while I'm doing my makeup and I'm gonna be completely blunt. If a lot of people get offended by this, I'm sorry, this is just me talking. I'm if anything offends you guys, I do do apologize in advance, but at the same time, you guys know me, I'm blunt, I like to speak my mind, and it's sort of not really gonna be offensive to anybody. It's just this is gonna be what it's like to me okay and i'm gonna be talking about a lot of transgender issues and i'm just gonna be speaking about what it's like for me being a transgender woman all right so here we go i'm gonna take my hair down because i need to readjust it because it's like really irritating me okay so as you guys know i am transgendered and i have been trans for a long time and I like being sort of an advocate speaker and talking about my experiences, what it's like, and how it affects my daily life. So, here we go. Oh no, okay. All right, so what is like being a transgender for me? Well, plus being a disabled person and being transgendered, <laughs> it has its ups and downs, but at the same time, it's the confident, it's the high self-esteem, and it's sort of just mentally preparing yourself for whatever. I sort of don't see it as, I mean, I know I'm transgendered, I know I'm always going to be a transgender woman, but at the same time, my confidence level is, it goes up and down sometimes, but at the same time, I have to mentally make my mind not go negative because sometimes it does go there and I am at fault for that because I don't, my dysphoria is not up there like a lot of girls. Well, I'm not going to say a lot of girls because I don't, I can't really base on some people. Let me just say this. It's just some people have it. Some people go through this experience and their transition differently. Mine, I mean, I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm accepting of what, basically how I am now and what are the changes and some of the changes that I'm going through and being a transgender woman and just, you know, not really, I'm not going to basically boohoo myself and oh, I don't have this, I don't have that, you know, because I'm accepting of what I do have and I'm very grateful to be alive. I don't experience a lot of what some transgender women of what some transgender women deal with, but I try to boost my confidence and you know, not basically try to fit in. I like to stand out. I mean, I'm never going to consider myself a basically a genetic female because I'll never be a genetic female, but I process and I love being a transgender woman. Like I'm not going to be a delusional woman <laughs> I know what I have and I am gonna support and I'm going to be proud of being a trans woman you know so my experiences let's talk about going out talking to men just in general you know I I've, I've been in relationships a lot and I have told a lot of men before I got in relationships of you know that I was trans and a lot of people gradually grew, grew with the idea and knowing they were very aware. I met a lot of people that were aware and that are really mature about it and kind of overlook it but still see me as a female and knowing that I do let them know that you're not attracted to me because I was born a male but because of my femininity and because I think like a woman and I am a woman and I'm a trans woman and they're okay with that and it's 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 nice to have that's the down that's not the downfall but it's just nice to have met a lot of men that are very open to it and I'm not gonna get into the whole chaser things because I have met a lot of chasers I have met a lot of people that think this as a fetish or whatever but it's not like that you know and when you base it on that you it's not what I want I don't want to meet chasers that are just looking at it as a, as a fetish you know so at the same time here's the thing 
I am what I am regardless and I'm not gonna beat myself up for it <laughs> I'm not gonna change what can't be changed you know but what I mean by that and don't take it this don't take this as oh my gosh I'm never gonna have SRS or I'm never gonna do, I'm just I love myself and I accept myself for who I am you know like if I never get the if I never get the SRS surgery it's okay I'm still a transgender woman I'm still a woman regardless it doesn't make me any different than you women out there you know it's it's people it's the acceptance it's the communication it's what it is you know I'm not gonna beat myself up for being something more than what I am I mean I love myself I love being transgender I'm proud of it you know and I'm proud that I have met a lot of a lot of men that are open to it not just some of some of the men that I have met I'm still actually friends with them and they're still okay with it because they're open-minded and they're mature a lot of the men that are not okay with it are just not educated they're it, it is what it is if it, it is your thing then it is your thing if it's not then it's not don't waste my time don't try to put me down just because you don't like it you know or you feel a certain type of way I'm at that point where it's like know what you want it is what it is and I am I am what I am and I don't like this bump that's in my hair I'm 23 years old I came out when I was 14 15 years old I couldn't hide it no more the thoughts of the thoughts of being being secretive and not being comfortable in my own skin when I was younger it was it was painful I didn't like it I didn't like dressing as a boy I didn't like wearing boy clothes you know and I couldn't handle it I couldn't hack it I didn't want to have to later on in life come out and start later I'm glad that I had a very support I'm glad that I have a supportive family I'm glad that I have had I'm glad that I have had a mother that supported me and helped me get through this transition as I still am going through this and that I'm not completely where I want to be yet but I'm okay and I accept where I'm at right now and to all the people and this goes to a lot of trans women out there that who are not who are not fully secure and comfortable within their own skin you got to be you can't worry about what other people are going to think of you you have to accept you because at the end of the day you're the one who makes everything happen and when you have that confident level you can achieve anything to be honest and my experiences have been great they have been bad they have been great it's vice versa and it's basically of what you make it <laughs> and it's how you put yourself out there and honestly being transgender is not a bad thing it's really not and i rather tell people about it then have to get myself killed you know I don't want to have to do that I mean all these mean guys mean people mean people in the world trying to put me out of place they're trying to make me feel less than a woman bitch please go ahead you ain't hurting me you're hurting your damn self because at the end of the day I'm still beautiful I'm still fabulous I'm still living my life I'm still celebrating it and I'm still I'm happy I'd rather be happy then be miserable and then still be like oh i'm never gonna be like most of those girls a lot of the girls ha are some of the girls are way farther than i am in my transition but that's okay i will get there and i'm not gonna put myself down because i'm not where i want to be yet i am beautiful yes i am and when you know that in your heart and when you put that in your mind maybe you're on your way and you have nothing to ever look at to stop you don't ever let anything stop you from your transition because sometimes you have to put a lot of people out but then at the same time you have to make sure you love yourself don't ever ever need to make anybody love you or find it within somebody else you have to love yourself in order to gradually grow because that's what's part of being a woman is loving yourself first and then growing within because that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of transition
yeah, that's really much sums it up. So, yeah, um, I will get into more things about this transgender issues. I need to start talking about transgender issues more because I feel like I need to put the issue and push the issue more because there's a lot of trans women out there that are getting killed because of not telling people and that are being delusional. I mean, we got to live our life, right? We got to live it how we want to live it, but don't be delusional know who you are and fucking be proud of it you know be proud of who you are and just love yourself and that's the only thing that's going to get you through this life of being trans and it's just loving yourself and just going being confident (laughs) at least that's what i do and that's my experience it's just i do have good and ups and downs but at the same time it's just about being confident so i'm gonna do another video of maybe something else but just goes to all the trans women out there you're not alone just keep doing what you're doing and you'll be there love you